Got a little man in the back. There he's gonna pull the truck up and we're gonna get these sweet little chickens into a better situation. We got 13 new chickens, um, new to us. They have been in a very muddy, gross situation, so we got them out so that they could have a better life and provide us with even more eggs. So we're gonna get these guys into a new home. Say hi. Got them in our temporary quarantine right there. Now we're gonna go down to the old chicken coop that we used when we first moved here. And we're gonna set up a temporary fence around that until we can order our um, new poultry net fence. That'll keep them a little bit more secured from predators. Um, we haven't used this area in a while and uh, the grass has grown up and um, the coop is kind of in disrepair. So we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do to get the door back on the nest boxes and get the wire repaired anywhere it needs to be and see what we can do. Wish us luck. Ryan's repairing the door. Those are the nest boxes and it had a piece of plywood over the top here but the hinges had rusted out and had fallen out so he's gonna give it some new hinges, put a new door on there and inside here we'll put some hay in there scoop out some more of that old stuff and make sure it's nice and clean for them get some hay and put a couple of bars going across for them to roost on go in here helping getting the hinge ready for daddy does that part go in there it's not it's not going there baby because i have to put 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 but in there. Oh, okay. What do you think of that, Daddy? Is that going to work? Maybe. We'll have to try it. All right. Baby's getting cranky. All right. So, little man, cranky butt, and I are going to go get the little red flyer wagon, and we're going to go get some hay to put in the nest box while Daddy fixes those hinges. So, the bale of hay here as you can see, I um, opened it up last night to give the new chickens a little bit of hay in their nest box. And this morning, our rooster decided that he would just tear it all up. So I'm gonna take all that stuff that he tore up and use that for the nest box so it's not wasted. Yeah, most of that piled up into the wagon. A little bit left behind for the rooster to play with. Maybe we'll move the ducks over to that spot and let them play with it. Those ducks are juveniles that'll be being upgraded pretty soon to a bigger area where they can run around some more. And we'll get these poor little chickens into a nice new place by nightfall. They'll be safe and secure. Never have to worry again. Poor little babies. They got the new hinges on. Got the new hinges on. We're gonna put the door on this. Here we go. I'm gonna put that on there and attach those hinges. Do you need me to give you a hand and hold that up for you there, Ryan? Probably so. No. You got it? It's not quite lining up the way I like it to. Can you make it work? I think we can make it work. Excellent. That's one of those things around the homestead here that we deal with on a daily basis is making things work. And they don't necessarily work for most people, but they work for us. And being resourceful is that all about making things work, keeping mosquitoes off your cheeks, and having good help. Having good help is good, huh, Rowan? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go around checking the corners and edges, making sure that none of this chicken wire has lost its ability to hold chickens in and keep predators out. So I have one little spot here that looks like it's broke. So I might do a patch on that or just twist it around for tonight. Um, we haven't had a whole lot of predators 
trying to get in lately. It is the middle of summer, so usually our predators that try to break into coops come in the spring when they have babies. So we've been lucky, although we do have another hole in here. Although I think that's where we put a perch, and that's why it's a hole. So maybe we'll run a perch from this corner to that corner and make, make it a hole. Problem? No! You want? Oh, okay. Alright. Get some of this hay in there. Okay, watch that, bro. I did on. Oh, man. Good job. Did you get that screw in? Wow. It's right here. That's a good job. Thank you for helping. No, no, we we, 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 we screws. Alright. Do you think you can shove some of this hay into those nest boxes? Hey. We're going to run some chicken wire as a temporary thing. Rowan's helping us stretch it out, attaching it to the corner of the coop. And we're just going to temporarily make a circle of chicken wire around here until we get our poultry net fence in. That'll keep them even more safe. So we have got the um, coop all situated. I'll go back over there and show you that in a second. But I came up to the barn to bring some of our supplies and I decided I'd show you our little um who's he what's it you know what's it called uh brooder brooder for our chicks so we built this out of an old crib as you can see and um it's got the clear glass on the end not glass but you know plastic so it's got the wire all along the side and we're gonna feel it we've got it lined on the bottom with black plastic so that it doesn't get any moisture damage. I'm gonna fill it with this extra hay I had because I had a little too much for the nesting boxes. I'm just gonna press that down and then I'm gonna put some pine straw on top of that. Uh, not pine straw, but uh, pine shavings. And quick repair on our little brooder box to hold the lid up and we are all set and ready for the chicks to arrive tomorrow. We got the food and water dishes ready to go and we got um, the light ready to set up and we got the lid to go on. Now that Ryan fixed it for me. Just, oh, one more screw. I jumped the gun. I just didn't want it to, to roll out again. Whew, sweaty and hot in this barn. That'll be good for the chicks. So yeah, we rescued 13 chickens yesterday and we have 25 arriving tomorrow. <laughs> At least they're chicks for a little while. Anyway, so we're going to be busy over the next couple of days. Stay tuned. The rescue squad in the dog carrier, minus the three little itty bitties. In case you notice, we got it up on its end. That's the easiest way to catch chicken. Just got to be careful when you turn it right side up so that nobody gets caught up. There you go. And then we can hoist them up onto the back of the truck and drive them over to the new spot. We took the, th we took the three little ones out because they were um, too small. And so we put them in with some of our chicks that are just a couple of months old that we hatched out in uh, the end of April. So these are going into the truck and we'll drive them over to the new spot and I'll show you it then. This fencing up is just a temporary thing and we've got them closed up in the coop to start. So starting out we'll keep them closed up in here so they know where home is. The little cutie pie bantam roo is already finding his place up on a perch. So I'm sure the rest will follow once they're done eating their late dinner. We don't usually give them dinner. They usually just get feed in the morning. But these guys are getting a little extra love. Especially when it comes to food. Tomorrow I'll probably make them a, a little special water and put some vinegar and honey and stuff and those boys are already in the truck ready to go they're they're done we're done too we're tired
we're gonna go in and eat. It's after eight o'clock and we haven't even had dinner, but we got a lot done and we're proud of ourselves, right? That's right. So, this is it. This is where we are. You hear all the frogs, crickets. That's the pond over there. You can't really see it through all the brush, but it's there. We love our home.